What's up, guys? J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from MRB Classic Pro Shop, where today we're going to talk about that whole squeezing thing. Uh, what we can do, we're gonna, I'm going to give you a technique that can help you to try to squeeze the ball less. Uh, since we already know how to properly squeeze the ball, we need to figure out how to squeeze it just a little bit less to get rid of some of that tension that you have. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so one of the biggest habits that most people have is they squeeze the ball really hard. Uh, they're trying to hold on to that ball because let's be honest, it's 15 or 16 pound bowling ball that you're holding by your side uh, and you don't want it to fall off your hand. You're kind of trying to hold on to it because it's literally, if I were to just relax my hand completely from right here, it's, it's just going to fall off my hand. So I have to squeeze a little bit. And what happens is as soon as I put my hand in the ball, now I can sit and I can relax. I can be ready to bowl. And I can be relaxed here, but as soon as I push it away and it gets to here, now I feel like, oh crap, if I don't squeeze a little bit, I have to make sure, I have to, it's going to fall off my hand if I'm not squeezing just a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to try a technique that like they use in golf. In golf, they use this technique when you're squeezing your club. They obviously, they say, well, you don't want to strangle the neck of the club. You know, it's like you're going to be holding a bird in your hands, you know, so they want you to squeeze really hard and then just relax your hands and then swing the club. Okay, so we're going to try the same technique with bowling. I want you to put your hand in the ball and I want you to be set up here, ready to go, okay? And then I want you to squeeze in with your fingers and your hand really hard, and I want you to find a middle ground. So obviously you're super relaxed here, and then you're gonna squeeze really hard, and now just kind of relax just a little bit more, and then go, okay? So I just want you to focus on trying to, and when I mean squeeze, I mean squeezing properly. So you're gonna be squeezing with pressing the back of your nail to the backside and just getting your thumb straight as possible. So you're gonna be set, you're gonna squeeze really hard, to get that feeling of really, really squeezing, and then you're going to release, and you're going to disengage all those muscles, and then you're going to go. And that'll help you. That'll help you relax a little bit. That'll help you to get rid of some of that tension. Because let's be honest, when you when you first start a tournament or league or something, we're a little amped up. We're ready to go, you know. So we have that extra little bit of grab. We're really trying to place the ball. We want to make sure we're making good shots. So we got that little bit of extra squeeze and everything, and our feet just aren't working quite as well as what we would like in the beginning. It takes us a little bit of time to settle down. I know for me, uh, I'm the exact same way. I know I just bowled the Players' Championship uh, a couple days ago, and man, uh, that very first game that I was out there bowling, you know, I'm amped up, and you know, I'm squeezing the ball, and I'm, you know, trying to really make sure I throw it exactly where I want to throw it because I want to keep everything in play, you know, and it just, it, it hurts you more than it helps you. So you got to make sure that you are doing the proper things when it comes to getting your body, your mind, and everything in, in good position and, and being right for that time that you're getting ready to bowl. So when you get up there, the first couple practice shots, make sure you're doing that. You know, relax your hand, super relaxed, no squeeze at all, then squeeze really hard and then release to a proper point of, you know, just a little bit of tension. You don't want a ton, just a little bit, but you have to have some, otherwise that ball is just going to fall off your hand uh, for most people, unless you're somebody who has that super, super tight thumb and it only comes off when you have momentum at the bottom of the swing, you know, that's fine too. But when you hold that ball down to the bottom, you got to make sure you have that squeezing just at the, just the right tension, not too much. So I hope this helps. Give it a try sometime. You know, there's uh, there's all kinds of different techniques on trying to squeeze the ball less. But go back and watch that video I showed you on how to properly squeeze. And then just try to use this one to maybe even improve that squeezing technique just a little bit more. Or get rid of a little bit of tension. Because even when you squeeze properly, you can squeeze too much still. And it can still stay on your hand too long. So we got to find that middle ground. we got to find that in between that's going to allow us to get rid of the ball or get it off our thumb quicker uh, and have our fingers just roll through it. So I hope this helps. Let me know in the comments below what works for you. Maybe somebody can come across it and they'll say, hey, I'm going to try whatever this person just said. You never know. So comment below, like and share. And until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.